as I'm going through all these sheriff department pictures and I'm seeing a lot of people with flat tops and I'm thinking to myself, this guy is never gonna care about uh, me the moment the FBI tells him he's a drug addict. Um, it, we censored him because he's a drug addict. He, was, he shouldn't have been running for president in the first place. Uh, he's a drug addict. Um, what I th thought to myself is I need to tell these people. The last time I used marijuana was December 26th. I quit on my own. I have a bunch of money. I can go um, buy pot right now. It's not very hard. I live in Colorado and I'm not using pot. And um, I barely even drink caffeine and I almost never drink alcohol. I mean, I, I mean... I drink like very like once every two weeks, like three beers. So um, when you get told that I'm a drug addict, so that they can discredit me, so that they go, "Oh, this is we don't even listen to this guy. He, we we didn't even censor him. He's a drug addict." Well, I'm not a drug addict. I use drugs as a performance enhancing thing. I think the Vicodin can seriously help you with your music, um, but not if you use alcohol. And the way to get uh, the way to get addicted to Vicodin is to use alcohol. The reason that everyone hates oxycodone so much is because people drink with it. Um, I remember I was at this guy's house, um, the guy who uh, chopped off someone's arm with a butcher's knife, that's what he told me, and uh, his dad has five copies of the electric Kool-Aid acid test on the shelf. Um, I was at his house getting a tattoo, and this guy I don't know was there, and he told me, oh, the only way to use Vicodin is to double the prescription and drink three beers or drink five beers or something. And he, I, I think he was trying to get me addicted to, oxy, to, to Vicodin because I had a prescription for it. I'd been in a car accident. And, um, you know, I told this in, in, in the letter I sent out, uh, I talked about this guy who came, who, who tried to get me addicted to oxycodone and he like wore off the tamper seal or something. And then he, he tried to get me to drink with it. Um, the cops know that the way to get someone addicted to oxycodone is to get them to drink with it. It's not just to take oxycodone because oxycodone by itself is fine. I took it like a year ago because um, I was recording music. I took my dad's oxycodone because my dad didn't want it. He was taking like morphine. So I like took some pill or I took like the exact prescription and then I recorded music. Uh, that music's never been published. Um, but um, I... Um, I don't think there's anything wrong with doing it as long as you're not drinking with it. But the moment you drink with it, you're a slave. It's like being addicted to cigarettes because, you know, after this guy told me, like, the best way to do it is to mix it with alcohol, I'm a dumbass, or I was a dumbass back then. I didn't know I was getting spied on by cops all the time. I didn't know people were trying to ruin me. I just thought I was a normal person that met a guy. And so I did it, and I got addicted. And I, I, I had never been addicted to alcohol in my life. Next thing you know, I'm going to the grocery store or I'm going to the liquor store every single day um, because I, it's like I'm craving cigarettes. Um, and so I, I realize that oxycodone and Vicodin are, can be a very serious addiction. I know heroin for sure can be a very serious addiction. Um, uh, but if you want to know where the heroin's coming from, that's Afghanistan. Um, that's not from our labs. Um, so, um, what I'm telling you is these cops are going to, the first thing they're going to tell you is that guy's a drug addict. That guy's a drug addict. Well, I quit drugs. Um, I quit even marijuana. I don't even drink uh, coffee. I don't drink caffeine. Um, and the reason I started smoking marijuana while I was running for president is because my people told me to. They literally said, you you need to do this. This is important. And so I smoked pot because I think sometimes you need to change your personality. Sometimes you need to stop being so angry. Sometimes you need to calm down and be a little bit more easygoing. Um, so I believe in performance enhancing drugs. I think Adderall is probably the most incredible drug of all time. I don't use it right now. I used Adderall as during grad school and then I quit it. And I was grateful to quit it because I was sick of Adderall. So um, what I'm trying to tell you is the first thing the cops are going to tell you is this guy's a drug addict. And then you're going to say it doesn't matter if he's a drug addict if he's being censored. At least that's what you should say because um, – Drug addicts ha should have rights, and I'm not a drug addict. I'm someone that uses drugs to help him. Like, I firmly believe that drugs can be very, very helpful, and if you don't understand that, then you're in such a tiny little box that you think everyone should be a, should be a cop. And what I'm telling you is everyone shouldn't be a cop. People should have different roles, and sometimes um, the most incredible people in our society, like Jimi Hendrix, use drugs to help them. Um, I mean, it's a very common thing to find out that someone that's incredible at music was a heroin addict. Um, not saying that we should use heroin. I'm not going to use heroin. If I uh, really want to uh, get performance, my performance enhanced at some point, it's going to be uh, just with basic Vicodin and no alcohol. But um, yeah, 
you should know the cops use this technique to ruin people. It's just like this guy that got arrested at the Capitol protest. He's a cocaine addict, he's a drug addict. He has a drug conviction from 1995. It's like, wow, is that really relevant? Uh, it's not really, but it's the first thing the cops are gonna tell you about if they wanna um, explain why they're doing what they're doing.